Hi everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing my sales for the last week. I wanted to come and do this live just so we could touch base with each other without actually touching. But um, just to get, get on live and check in with everybody. And yeah, anyway, so I'm so glad that you're here. I am live. If you're here live, hello. And I will be diving into the chat in a little while. I wanted to just update you with how we've been doing. And I'd love to hear how you've been doing through all of this. As you may know, and for posterity, in case somebody's watching this in 10 million years, we're in the midst of the social distancing, isolation, lockdown. I don't want to dive too deep into that because I, you know, I'm sure we're all here to kind of make sure we're okay, but then let's try to take our mind off of things because it's everywhere. I'm going to scratch my nose, but yeah, I'm home. I'll wash my hands in a second. Anyway, um, I've, I've been doing a lot more unboxing videos lately because they seem to make people happy. They make me happy. They cheer me up. I do have more haul videos that I can do for things that I got from thrifting and from the bins that I haven't I haven't gotten to yet. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well and um, we'll have more of a chat and talk about what I've been doing, what you've been doing after the fact. So my sales have been really good and I don't say that lightly because I know a lot of people have been struggling. And I have not been listing. So uh, that being said, I I've been spending my time, I, I guess I'll show you now. I've been spending my time making masks lately. So that's what's been going on here. This is one of my kids' masks, camo. It's just whatever fabric we had around the house, tanks. Anyway, uh, so that's what I've been doing, making masks for family members. So I haven't really been doing anything else other than cooking and sewing. I am, I recorded a video of me making the mask because I had a few people request it, but I'm gonna be putting it on my homeschool channel because I feel like it would fit better there with the, I don't know, with the theme of everything. So if you're interested, I'll, I'll probably drop a link to it in my community section on YouTube and also on my Facebook page. If you're, it won't be ready for a couple of days because slowness, that's why. Okay, so let me talk about my sales. Firstly, I have a cat here. Oh, I know that's what's happening here. My cat was just loving, loving me a second ago. Um, I want to thank you guys for, for some of you that have been placing orders with, with me for some of my jewelry lots because that's really bumped my, my sales up a lot. So I'm really grateful. So thank you. Uh, I have had, let's see, 10 sales from viewers uh, for different jewelry lots or things that you've seen in my haul videos. And that brought me approximately $160 profit. My profit mm, for the week, where did it go? It was about $490. That's gross so probably closer to 425 after fees and everything were taken out so that was a really good week uh for me and again i hesitate because i don't want it to seem like you know i know a lot of people are having uh, struggles oh gina says what's my homeschool channel homeschool honey on my main page there's a little link like suggested video or suggested channels it's there too homeschool honey is what it's called um anyway so I share this in, in the full realization that a lot of people are struggling, but these are the things that maybe in a way can help as far as what is selling for me might be something you consider looking around at home and seeing what you've got that could, could sell. Uh, okay, so I had 10 sales for jewelry and things from haul videos to you guys, $160. I also have sales on eBay and Etsy and Mercari. I had zero sales on Poshmark. And let's see, real fast, a quick question that's pertinent to what we're talking about. Uh, I'm going to say your name wrong. Once, Oza, is that right? Where do you sell your jewelry at under what username? I have on uh, eBay and Etsy and everywhere, I'm Texas Gal Treasures, but I sell craft lots of jewelry. Just, just email me at texasgaltreasures at gmail.com and then I send an invoice and things like that. So, yeah, that's how that works. 
Anyway, okay, so let's talk about, so my eBay sales, I sold how many things? And I'm going to show you the exact things too, so if you're wondering, I think it's 11 sales on eBay for about $150. Uh, five things on, is this one Etsy? On Etsy for about $120 and three things on Mercari for about 60 bucks. So let's look over at that and I will show you what I sold. Some of my sales were really tiny sales. I've been sending a lot of offers. I've been accepting a lot of offers because I'm just trying to keep my store moving and I know I'm not listing things because I'm focusing my attention in other areas. So at this point, I'm just trying to get the sales to make sure that my income is not impacted too negatively. As you know, I also, I don't know if I've, ugh, ugh, I always feel like I forget something. So my sales, I try to make $200 a week because it's one part of my income. Print on demand is another and Merch by Amazon has taken a ginormous hit. I quit even looking. I think I've made two shirt sales internationally in the last two weeks or something crazy like that. Um, so it's been, I made a few print on demand sales on Etsy and Printful. But because some of my other areas are taking a hit now, I'm like, okay, let's just make deals. It's fine. Okay, so let's talk about what actually sold. Finally. <laughs> All right, so first up is this little pin brooch. It's a patriotic apple, and it sold for $6. I've had it up for a really long time. I'm going to show you. See, I didn't mark down my inventory notes. Normally I do. So it says here 13P. That's my code for it. It cost me 13 cents. I uh, probably got it in a lot, and so I averaged the lot out. So that's the first thing that sold. Thank you, everybody, in the chat. And I'll come and um, come through the chat in just a minute in case people are wanting to just see the sales and stuff. So I, when I was listing a few, I guess last week or more, I pulled out all my toys and games and things like that, Lego. And so, so this was something else that sold. This was a Halloween card, the Plymouth Fury. This Hot Wheel car sold for $13, and let's see, I didn't put what I bought it for. Sorry for the scrolling, I know it annoys some people. I'll just skip that, how about that? I'll skip the scrolling and I'll guesstimate what it sold for, how about that? Okay, so this is a lot of comics that sold. This Green Lantern Mosaic comic set sold for $21. I took an offer on that, and these were all given to me free. I had a friend who gave me nine long boxes of comics and so I have been going through those and listing those and I'm again very grateful that she gave those to me to sell. All right next up and go over there and hit that thumbs up everybody it tells eBay or not eBay I wish it tells YouTube that I'm doing okay and people should watch me so and if you don't like it give it a thumbs down because it tells YouTube I don't like this chick but people should watch her. Um, okay, next up, these hummingbird cloisonne earrings sold. I swear, the pancakes fur got up my nose or something. It's really bothering me. Um, but these ended up selling for $13.60. I've had them for quite a while as well. Uh, I sold actually three of these. This is a Dimensions, which is a game, but it's Doctor Who. I, buy, I bought a bunch of Doctor Who Lego stuff, whether it was Dimensions or the TARDIS set which I also have listed. And this one, and I actually sold all three of these, which was a surprise. So this one sold for $17 or $16.99, the asking price. And then, hi in the chat, I do see you. I'm gonna be, I'll be there in just a second. And then this, uh, I've had it for a while. It's a stretchy plastic. This is one of those that's like, I think it's cool. I think it could sell. Finally, it sold. So this sold for $12. And if you see here that the price is different than what I say, for whatever reason, if I send an offer or take an offer, it doesn't always reflect it there. So that's what that's all about. 12 bucks for that one. Uh, again, another Doctor Who. This one sold for $14. I took an offer on that. My Little Fantastic Beasts is my Niffler. I think it's a keychain. My thing is being weird over here, sorry. Um, this sold for $6.80. I think I got that in a a loot crate or something. I don't remember exactly. I don't know why I decided not to keep it. I love Harry Potter stuff. 
Uh, and this I got in the bins. It's an ornament. It's like a canvas screen printed bird woodpecker. And this sold for $8. Again, you can see it, I had it listed for 15 But as I said, I'm trying to make those sales. And I know I probably paid a quarter for it. So that's still a good $5 at least uh, as far as net profit. And then this is a lot that I've had up forever. And so I was ready to see it out of here. Um, I'm not very good at making lots to sell on eBay. For some reason, the ones that I put up there tend to sit for a while. So I sold this for $8.50 because I wanted it out of here. And so it went. This is the other one that sold the Lego Doctor Who. This one sold for $15. And then my last eBay sale was this really cute hippo. I love love selling figural stuff and this little carved hippo sold for $15. So those were my sales on eBay for about $150. And then let's take a peek at my Etsy sales and then we'll look at Mercari. Hi everybody. Hi, hi. So on Etsy I do sell a mystery lot and, and what this one is, it's a small box like a 6x4x4 by four by four box that I put 10 to 15 pieces in that are wearable, sellable pieces. And those sell for $16.99, $17. Let me see, I, I have it right here, I can tell you. Uh, 17, so $16.99. So I sold two of those. This is different than the craft lot that I sell for 25 shipped. That's just a mix of stuff in a padded flat rate that is a couple pounds. Anyway, so two of these sold and Let's see. Oh, thank you in the chat. Thank you. So that's the other one that sold on Etsy. Also, this little giraffe mug sold. Remember I was worried like, oh, it's kind of got some damage. It had some some bumps and nicks. Here you go. You can see that. Chips and things like that. But I thought, you know what? It's cute enough. It's got this little giraffe hiding on the inside of the mug. And it ended up selling for $13. I got this. Did I get this in the bin? I lied. I'm going to scroll. <laughs> Uh, because I want to see, yeah, 10PB, that stands for 10 cents bins, and then that's the date that I listed it on. So, I, you know, I bought it for 10 cents, so me selling it for, what did I say, $13, that's a pretty good profit. Okay, then also on Etsy, this is a fossil watch strap that sold for $25, and I'm going to scroll again. I think I got it in, a, oh, I spent three bucks on it, 3D. Um... And if you saw my jewelry lot from yesterday, my thread up one, it was like chock full of fossil watches. So I was Googling last night how to change the battery in a fossil watch because I think you have to go to the store, which isn't happening. Okay, this bracelet sold. This one is this. I think this is the second time this bracelet is sold. Uh, it came back once before. Oh, it was such a kerfuffle. I never shared with you guys that story. But, it, you know, I, I sold it and then the lady sent it. Well, she asked for a refund and sent it back. But... It didn't get here for a long time so I was like I can't refund I don't I don't have the bracelet back and finally it showed up and I could refund because uh, we were gonna have to file a claim with the post office la di da it was just a big to do but it got here finally refunded the lady and was able to resell it again so it sold for $48 okay oh I see a super chat in the in the chat over there Lily Mae Phillip Philippon, I hope I said your name right. Um, they sent $10 super chat. Thank you so much. She said, I love all your videos. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Okay, so next, so those were my sales on Etsy. That was five sales on Etsy for about $120. And then Mercari. I think I, since I've started selling on Mercari and Poshmark, I made two sales on Poshmark and then probably about seven sales on Mercari. So Lego sold. So this is a little Lego set that sold for 30 bucks. And also this sign that I got in the bins, of course it's got the sold right on top of it. It says not all who wander are lost. It's a little wooden sign. And so that was 18 bucks. And then this little lion, this I got in the bins as well, sold for $12. It's a little baby toy. Pardon me. So when I reflect back on the things that I've sold, um, again, Mercari, three sales for 60 bucks um, on Mercari. When I reflect back on the things that have been selling, I'm noticing jewelry, 
I'm thinking it makes people happy. <laughs> and then things like toys and um, what was the other thing? Home decor stuff. Because people are at home and they're working on their home. I know I am trying to get, you know, things taken care of, mostly in the garden around here. So, okay, those are my sales. I'm going to come over and see who's in the chat and what we have going on over here. I hope you guys are well. And I shared with you guys I've been making these masks. This one is camo, but we've made some with kitty cats and space, outer space and flowers. I think I shared a picture of me wearing a floral one. So I've been trying to make, um, I've got ones done for my kids. Uh, I'm going to make one for their dad. I don't know. I have some friends I made some for. And I have had questions about selling them, and I hesitate because, one, I'm not a seamstress, and, and they're very, my you know, I don't have say, straight seams or whatever, so, like, you can see my seams are not straight, and then the, we were having some issues with the elastic, trying to figure out, like, what's good for me or what's good for, you know, I have a big head, so it's hard for me to, anyway whatever I'm like I would have to sell them for like 25 bucks a piece which seems a bit outrageous but it takes me so long and then they're not like amazing looking either so anyway that's what I've been doing but anyway let me come say hi in the chat hello everybody I'm so glad that you're here live how many friends do we have watching can I see 106 friends are watching live thank you for being here I hope you're all staying safe we've been staying at home and I've been really strict about it um, ordering our groceries and then sanitizing everything and maybe going overboard but and, and I know I don't share a whole lot about my kids but one of my kids has got a respiratory issue and so it scares me a lot like whenever he gets any kind of respiratory stuff you know he has to get on his nebulizer or on occasion go to the emergency room to get breathing breathing assistance um, because of some of his airway stuff so it's kind of scary so I've been a little bit of a, a panic in panic mode about that so anyway um, how did I get onto that but that's what, what's been going on here just been hunkering down we took a bike ride this morning so uh, Deb says she's been selling a lot of Lego sets and DVDs. Um, what else are you guys selling? I'd like to see or hear what you're selling. Uh, Patricia says, I was doing very well selling on eBay until yesterday. They've suddenly slowed down like crazy. Yeah. I haven't been selling anything on Facebook. Do you sell, okay, Christina asks, do you sell jewelry bags by the pound? I do. What it is is like, whenever I do my haul videos from jewelry unboxings, I'll put things to the side. Sometimes they're wearable and sellable. Sometimes it's broken or missing a stone. or, And then it all goes over into like a bin over here. And then what I do is I grab an eBay padded mailer and I fill it. It's usually, usually between three and four pounds. And then I take that and fold it over and then I stick that whole thing inside a, a padded flat rate mailer. And then I charge 25 bucks for that. So it costs about $8 or so to ship it. And that's what I do. So it's just a mix of whatever <laughs> is there that I, yeah. And some people will ask for specific things out of videos that they see. If I haven't already shoved it in a bag, you got to act quick. So um, let's see. So Elisa says, I've also had zero sales on Poshmark the last few weeks. Um, Yeah, I think I'm misunderstanding what you wrote, so I didn't want to read it out loud. I appreciate it that you're... Okay, I don't know. Okay, so Saturn Girl says, What program do I use to edit my videos after I film? I use iMovie. Whatever, it came on my, on my laptop, my MacBook. So, uh, let's see. Um, boo, 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 boo. Deb says, I have a ragdoll cat and a Maine Coon. You understand about the cat fur. We think that Pancake is part ragdoll. We got him from the Humane Society, but he's really floppy and furry and soft. Like a rabbit. Like he's got rabbit fur. It's super soft. Okay, so um, James asks, what do I use to take my pictures? I use my iPhone, which is not here. I use my iPhone. I've got a few videos showing how I do that. Um, also, 
So thank you so much for those lovely compliments. Uh, ah, my chat jumped. Sorry. Uh, Remy says, I've been I'm making masks too. Yeah, mostly friends and family. I'm, I'm going to send some to my brother who's in Dallas. My sister's been making some at her place. Mm -hmm. uh, Lily says, have to get the elastic corner to corner to fit around the ears. See, we were, we were hesitating. We didn't want to do, we're off topic now, um, around the ears because I know a lot of, if I ended up giving some to healthcare workers, that they have a lot of issues with the elastic rubbing, you know, and they're getting really sore behind their ears and stuff. So I have tie on. I've been making some that, that you physically tie on, which is fine for an adult, but my kids were having an issue because I was having to tie it on them. And they really wanted to be able to just put it on and go. And so we got I had to really adjust it for their heads for the elastic. But it goes all the way around. Um, homeschool channel, homeschool honey's my homeschool channel. Oh, thank you so much. Uh-oh, I missed, okay, I got your question. What, okay, I have been making a lot, breakfast is my go-to, like I get, I get up and I make a big breakfast. I actually made two meals today and I told the kids I'm not cooking again today. So we've been making this yesterday and today, <laughs> we're talking about this, biscuits and gravy and bacon and eggs, cut up fruit. And then earlier this week I made banana pancakes and waffles because I have a fun waffle maker that makes like little waffles, but it makes four of them, and I love it. So we made banana pancakes and waffles and more bacon because it's bacon. So, and then I made tacos for lunch. Tacos. So, and then tomorrow's, we're probably going to make enchiladas tomorrow. Let's see. I need to make a video of my enchiladas, even though it's a recipe that you can find online, but they're so good. So, why can't I find sold items? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, when you go to the eBay, when you go to eBay, I don't know if I, oh, I think I closed my window out. No, I didn't. I'll show you real fast. So, when you go to eBay to find the sold items, whoop, click on eBay up there. And then, let's say I want to get a Lego. I'm going to chop part of my face off. You scroll down, scroll, 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 and then here, sold items, Boop. and then it shows you the sold. There it is. Easy peasy. Okay, so Lily Mae says, I can't get into Poshmark. Yeah, at least it says I've been selling lotions and potions. I get that. I've been using, I think because I've been washing and sanitizing and cleaning so much, my hands have been so dry, so I have been using a lot of lotion lately. Ah, it jumped again. Hang on. Uh, Galactic Goddess thing says, I've been selling sewing patterns, stuffed animals, Christmas ornaments, Halloween decor, all kinds of random stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dizzy Angel selling clothes on auction on eBay for cheap. Lots of, lots of books, DVDs, kids. Oh, thank you, Sarah. She says, I look forward to your videos every day. I appreciate it. Thank you. And Emma says, I made my first two e sales on eBay this week. A Burberry earrings for 10 and three pound, three pound, three pound, three pound craft jewelry lot. I also, um, cause Goodwill is not selling their blue boxes anymore because of all the shipping stuff. And then I was trying to do some on shop Goodwill but I haven't won any lots, so I just can't watch them too closely. And and then the thread up boxes that I have are ones that I you know, the one I shared yesterday was from December. They just go in a pile, and I I ration them out. So I'm glad now that I have them. So Patricia says I love the cup you're drinking out of. Thank you. This is my Hobbit one. I got this the Thorn Oaken Shield. I actually got this. A few of these big giant ones, and there's a Thor one that I've got. Um, when we went to West Texas, there was a little like pet store, thrift store. It was like for animals, and and they had a stack of them. They were fifty cents each. I was like, score! I love a big ginormous cup. Anyway, hi Houston. Uh, Lucy says, has anyone else been in a listing funk? You've been completely unmotivated to do anything for months. Oh yeah, the situation's making it worse. I agree. I have not been listing. I have photos of things that I could. I mean, every now and then I'll like go on and I'll list one of them. 
because that's how it feels doing it. Uh, uh, and so whenever I have offers, I send offers for cheap. I mean, because I know, yeah. And then I homeschool my kids, and our homeschooling has been kind of like, uh, I mean, we're getting the basics done. We were supposed to do some science today, and that didn't happen. It's not over yet, but I already told them we're going to play a board game, so we're going to do that instead. So, <laughs> and Elisa says, I just upgraded to the latest and greatest Sims on my channel, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. So, Tiger Lily says, depending on the watch, some fossil watches, you can change the battery yourself. Yeah, I'm going to have to look. They, I had got all, a whole bunch of different ones, so, and they all looked really nice. I'm pretty excited about it. So, what did you made them? Oh yeah, um, resale therapy says love you made that you made them from doing. Am I selling to help the fund help fund them? I think you mean the, the these. Again, I don't. I mean, I would have to sell them for so much because I can maybe make, maybe make eight in a day. The straps, like if I don't use this, I have to make my own straps, which means I'm cutting one inch fabric and folding it and sewing it. And blah, blah, blah. Um, so. <laughs> And then I get frustrated because I'm not the best seamstress. Anyway, but the ones I'm making too have like the pocket so that you can put in a filter or put in another layer of fabric or if you have the surgical whatever, you can slide those through. You can see that. So I'm making them like that in case there's ever a need for a filter to go in there. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, once I get these, I'll send out to all the people that, that I have promised them to you we'll see it depends on how long we're in, in quarantine or social distancing whatever it is I may get a wild hair to start making some more if I do I will let you know but yeah so far it's just for giving away um David says sales have been pretty good people are buying out of boredom I find myself buying too but I'm buying from like Wayfair I never really buy things full price but I've been buying like raised garden beds for my patio, Lowe's, I bought some potting soil that they delivered, you know, things like that. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Jenny says, I'm making chicken and dressing in the crock pot served with mashed potatoes and cranberry sauce. Yum, that sounds really good. Let's see, try t-shirt materials for the ties. Oh, that's a really good idea. T-shirt material, because I've been taking cotton and folding it over. And the t-shirt material, if you cut it, might kind of like roll up on its own. I can just zoop it through the machine. How, how stretchy is this shirt? No, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but I've got some shirts that, you know, maybe have some stains that I could, or holes that I could cut them out. Yay. So Saturn Girl says, I would love your enchilada recipe. I'm up by Fort Worth. Oh, yeah, it's so good. I it's I think the the site's called Lil Lil Luna L I L Luna, uh, but it's a magnificent cheese enchilada recipe, and I love it. And every time my dad comes, I make it for my dad, I make it for my brother, sister, I make it for my mom. So yummy. Okay. Next, cut it out. We're making you hungry. Yep. Jenny says sold two mugs yesterday. People are drinking a lot of coffee and tea. I think. Oh yeah, I haven't sold it. I just said, I was about to say, I haven't sold any mugs. I sold a mug this week. The giraffe one. How quickly we forget. How quickly we forget. Grace says, is ThreadUp still doing DIY jewelry lots or are they discontinued? I see them up. I saw them, uh, them up there the other day, but they were sold out. It's weird. They're weird about it. Because then you go look and then they, they've taken the icon down. And then it'll come back. I don't know why they do it like that. But maybe they're making changes to it and like jacking the price up again. Because... Nobody else can get lots anywhere. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, Tiger Lily says, how long does it take for you to edit your videos for YouTube? The jewelry ones that I do, maybe 15 minutes, because what I do is whenever I get to a point where I'm pausing or something, I, I pause for a really long time. You don't see that part. Because then I can see really clearly where I need to cut cut my you know, to edit. So I've gotten better at it. It used to take me forever, which is why I did live videos for, for so long. So Resell Therapy says, I have not been motivated at all. Yeah. Elisa or says, I've been listing anything and everything from my home, especially educational materials, 
art and class, craft supplies, toys. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, I, I start I thinking about pulling stuff from our homeschool. I have a hoard of homeschool stuff that I buy. Because whenever I see stuff at garage sales, thrift stores, I always grab it and put it on my shelf in there. So I have a ton of those, like, science-y kits and all kinds of stuff. But I keep thinking, oh, we're going to use that. <laughs> we're going to do it. So... Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm, yeah, I'm missing the bins. I'm missing them, but I'm not. Because right now, I, I think, even after this thing lifts, it might take me a little while to feel like I'm okay to go. <laughs> a little PTSD from all of this. So, yep. Let's see. Rochelle says, it's my second week and I've sold 52 items. That's great. So, I actually forgot to list on my car. I haven't upgraded it. Should I start a store now? Starter or basic? Is this on eBay? I would wait till you have a certain number of... Once you surpass the amount of free listings they give you every month, then bump up to the store. That's what I did. So... Oh, okay. Elisa says, I saw a YouTube video where you can make no-sew masks out of LuLaRoe leggings. Yeah. Yeah. Tiger Lily, how do you measure ring size? Well, I have a mandrel. It's a long, skinny thing that gets bigger as it goes down. And you, every motion I'm making seems very dirty. And you, pour, you put it on there and it measures it. I'm just going to do it with my voice and not, yeah. Trail for Buddy. Did I sell the black bracelet with the rhinestones? I guess I'm going to need more specifics. Uh, send me a picture. A screen grab from the video and I'll find out. I'll let you know. I don't know. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. If I have any old bungee cords, you can cut them open and use elastic bands inside. Okay. Okay. Li living over 50, I managed to get a health and beauty box from Bulk three days ago. Listed almost everything yesterday and sold 12 things from that box already. Clothing is dead. Is Bulk like one of the... I'm guessing it's a bulk of stuff. A box of stuff? Like wholesale type of stuff? I know some, some people have been doing more of that, like stores, store rejects? How does that work? I don't even know. Uh, Christina says, what are your thoughts about creating and selling t-shirts on Amazon versus Etsy? Well, before I would always say Amazon is the best. It was the best compared if I had to compare the two because everybody shops on Amazon but now I'm really grateful that my other thing I say is don't put all your eggs in one basket because now I have Amazon has just like fallen out. And so Printful and Etsy are still up and running, even though I still am not making a lot of sales there. It's, um, it's more than zero. So that's good. And yeah, so because of that Amazon being part of my income and it just going away, that was a, uh, oh, but you know what? That it, that's just life right now. I And compared to what other people are experiencing right now, I can't really complain because some people have just flat out lost their jobs, been furloughed or, and that's it. You know, it's really scary. So, okay, it's liquidator. Hmm. See, I would be really tempted if I got a liquidation box of makeup. Like Sephora is one of my like happy places. <laughs> and <clears throat> I like makeup, even though I don't wear a ton of it. Um, it makes me really happy. So I would probably sit there and be trying it on and playing with it. So a lot of Target returns, but the pickings. Oh, pickings are slim now. Yeah, people are trying to get stock you know, inventory wherever they can. So, um, oh, you're getting, Sarah says, I have so much, I'm saving so much money staying at home, but I'm gaining weight. Right? I was talking to my friend Mary. I'm, she's going to kick herself for not being here. I was talking to my friend Mary the other day, and we were both talking about how we feel like we have to make a, a dessert almost every day. So, I mean, we've made brownies and cookies and I don't know. So we do, and I've been making big, you know, big breakfast and lunch, and yeah, you'll get more Target brands and liquidation than Sephora, Elisa says. Well, that's good, because, <laughs> yeah, 
Sephora, you know, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, my mom is down, downstairs, she's, she's here to stay with us. Saturn Girl says, I'm just starting on eBay and nothing is selling, I don't know what to do. I, what I suggest when I first started is I would go and look at other sellers stores and see how they how they did their business how they took their pictures how they worded their descriptions um, and just try to emulate you know bigger sellers and how they I mean I'm not saying copy and paste but just to you know, you want to learn from people that are doing well. So that's what I did like, you know, and tried to do so many video tutorials about how to take better pictures. Oh my gosh. Okay. So have we lost lots of people or are we still just hanging and chilling? I'm so glad that you came, everybody. Um, and I will keep up the videos. And I, like I say, I'll probably do the video where I'm showing how I make these. And I'll put the, I've shared the link for the site that I got the pattern from because I like this one because it had kid sizes, women's sizes, men's sizes, and then a few different variations. So that was kind of nice. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you something. Which, Christina says, which disruptions do you stay away from? Regarding jewelry lots on Shop Goodwill. Disruptions. I feel like that was like a, a spelling. I don't know. I don't understand the question. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, I'll probably, uh, let me know what you think. If I should put the video, I'll probably put it over on my homeschool channel. The, the pattern for this one. And then um, the enchilada recipe also, I'll probably put it up over on my homeschool channel too. Because I think it'll kind of fit in a little better over there. Because that one's more of a hodgepodge of stuff. And that way this channel can stay focused on, on what it's focused on. Anyway, where did you share the link for the mask? On my community tab on YouTube. Let's see if I can pull it up to show you. Community tab. On YouTube, if you go to... Hang on, let me flip over here. Hey, look, it's me. I'm live. If you, how do I do this? Come to Texas Gal Treasures. Look at that. Okay, I've been watching cake videos. Don't judge me. <laughs> like those icing videos where they're like icing cakes. It's just enthralling to watch. <laughs> so uh, on the page here, you'll see where it says community. You'll click that, community. And that's where it's like a thread, like a... A Facebook type of thread and then down here there's a picture of me sewing and then in the in the comments on that one I dropped the link where is it here craft passion so that's where it is and I think I shared it on I have a Facebook page called Texas Gal Treasures too so I'll um, I think I shared it over there as well okay I'm so glad that I came on and talked to you guys live um, Go over there and hit that thumbs up or the thumbs down, whichever you prefer. And I'm going to go play a board game. I'm not cooking dinner. There's Oh, I made beans the other day. Beans and ham hock in the Instapot and cornbread. So there's beans left and cornbread. There's taco stuff left. There's sandwich stuff. They can make something on their own. I'm done. So... Uh, do I miss shopping at my favorite shops? I yes and no. Honestly, at this point, I, I would I, I'm missing going to garage sales. Like it was just getting started, the garage sale season, and I was you know looking forward to that because I like going to garage sales. Gina said, "Okay, my homeschool channel is called Homeschool Honey. I can flip over and show you. So when you look at my my channel, like at the main." Page, if I can get back to it, here it is. And then over, ah, no, I'm gonna have to cover up my face here for a second. Over to the side, if I can slide it. Come on. It says also subscribe to. Can you see that? And there it is. Homeschool honey. And you click on it, and it takes you to my other channel. And there's me at the top. 
So that's my homeschool channel over there where I talk about homeschooly stuff, other things. Yeah, I miss, I think it's the driving, the garage. I think I'm missing the garage sales because I'm missing driving around. <laughs> it's the little things just to drive around. I don't know. Yeah, being outside. Because <laughs> they're outside. Okay, I'm going to go and play a board game with my kids. And I hope you guys do well and and take care of yourselves. And I will see you. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. It didn't stop. Here it goes. Bye.